Wanted to make a quick video talking about the worst things that have happened over the past week, week and a half. Uh, like I said in a previous video, this whole year has been one gigantic dumpster fire, so obviously I'm going to miss 10,000 things. Um, in the comments, please tell me what you think has been the worst things that have happened. Uh, but here's three things. They're in no particular order, but you're just, just awful and indicative of this year. Number one, two separate Republican Senate candidates digitally altered their opponent's face and complexion uh, in political advertisements. Firstly, in the Georgia Senate race, David Perdue digitally altered his opponent's nose, and his opponent is John Ossoff, and he is a Jewish man, and he they digitally altered it so that the nose was bigger. And obviously, portraying Jewish people as, as having huge noses and making fun of that has been an anti-Semitic trope for many years and is a terrible thing to do, and the Perdue campaign just blatantly did it. In the South Carolina Senate race, uh, Senator Lindsey Graham portrayed his opponent, Jamie Harrison, who is a black man, as being much darker than he actually is. They just made him darker in the political advertisement. And obviously portraying a black person as darker than they actually are is self-evidently racist. Uh, obviously both Senate campaigns, the Purdue and the Graham campaign, denied that this was on purpose and said that it was a mistake and blamed other people. Uh, but kind of hard to believe that that happened. Number two. This happened like 10 days ago, but I still wanted to talk about it because it was very underreported. Um, rioter, rioters in Portland set fire to a police precinct while there were officers inside and attempted to block the uh, the exits. So they it's basically attempted murder. Here's the mayor of Portland, Ted Wheeler, talking about it. Last night, two to 300 people went to East Precinct intent on violence. Exits were blocked. They were barricaded shut with cars and with two by fours. Security cameras were disabled and accelerants were used to set and grow fires. The attack was immediate, it was intentional, and it was planned. It was intended to cause serious injury or death, and it very well could have. And then Mayor Wheeler then went on to say this about the attacks. This can't be okay. So they are very, very naughty boys and girls indeed. Uh, they basically are just getting a verbal warning and that's about the extent of it. So yeah, worst of the week to the people that tried to murder people and burn down a building, obviously, but also to the less than appropriate response for that action. So finally, uh, definitely not underreported, but still f***ing ridiculous that it's a thing is the whole birtherism for Kamala Harris. Because Kamala Harris is the daughter of immigrants, people are questioning whether she is eligible. Um, she's eligible, yeah. She was born in Oakland, California to legal immigrants. Uh, I don't understand how this is even an, a thing anymore. I mean, I thought we went through this already, but uh, apparently it's happening again. I mean, I originally was not even going to dignify this with a response because it's just so ridiculous, but I, I figured I'd be better off calling it out anyways because I mean, if you don't want Kamala Harris to be your VP, that's completely fine. Make actual arguments for why she should not be the VP. Do not make up bullshit that has no grounds in reality. Please stop, P please, please stop. This took so long to do, by the way. Y'all better appreciate this. Anyways, please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. As always, please share your thoughts down below. What was the worst things that I missed? I know there are a ton of them. Uh, but as always, please be safe and have a great day. See ya.